In Chile, the powerful 8.2 earthquake that's hit the area, and it is called the Ring of Fire, rumbling back to life. Tonight, the world has been riveted by the images streaming in and asking, what does it mean for earthquake risk right here at home? ABC's Bob Woodruff is there. In this moment of fear, people began to move. It was strong, she said, and it went on a long time. As the earth rocked, it sparked fires and the blare of the tsunami sirens. People running out of this pharmacy, some holding children, bottles tumbling from the shelves. A mass evacuation of nearly a million people, fearing a destructive wave in the wake of the powerful 8.2 magnitude quake. The injured brought to this hospital. The aftermath, fishing boats washed ashore, small landslides, half a dozen dead. Could have been much worse. So this country has so many earthquakes and tsunamis. They've got these, these warning signs all over the city. You can see it, tsunami, hazard zone. The people along the coast that we met today were ready to evacuate. This little girl's mother described it as the earth dancing. The powerful quake struck just off the coast 12 miles beneath the ocean floor. The surge of water it set off rolling all the way to Hawaii. The quake rumbled along the most dangerous band of fault lines and volcanoes in the world, the point where the Earth's plates meet, the infamous Ring of Fire, stretching up along the U.S. western coast all the way through Japan and Asia. The recent Los Angeles quakes were not caused by the same fault line as last night, and experts say the more than 1,700 earthquakes along the ring in just the past week does not mean a bigger quake is coming. There is nothing about this activity that makes it look any more likely to be a precursor than any other earthquake. Now, last night, all of the people along the coast here from the north to the south of Chile were given the warnings to get off the beaches, to get up to the hills. This country has so much experience with earthquakes and tsunamis. The people told me they knew what to do and they did it well.